planet, planet, burning bright. Welcome to Stargazers. I'm James Alberry, And I'm Dean Regis. This week, we'll talk about three bright planets in your evening sky and the bright star we see most often. Monday night, March 12th, look west after sunset, and you'll see two brilliant points of light that might be the eyes of some fierce creature staring back at you, somewhat like Alice's famous cat. These two eyes in the night are really the two brightest planets in our solar system, Jupiter and Venus. Venus, the one on the right, is about seven times brighter than Jupiter, mainly because it's so much closer to us. Yes, Venus on Monday night will be 81 million miles away, while Jupiter will be six and a half times farther, over 520 million miles. Another way to think of it is that the light we see from Jupiter takes almost 48 minutes to get here, while the light from Venus takes only about seven minutes to get here. Be sure to get out Monday night and take a look, since seeing Venus and Jupiter close together in a dark sky after sunset is quite rare. If it's cloudy Monday night, don't worry, because the next night, Tuesday the 13th, Venus will actually be a bit closer to Jupiter, but it will also be a bit higher. Venus has an eight-year cycle of sky appearances, and this is the year that Venus gets highest in the sky after sunset. And luckily for us, Jupiter just happens to be nearby. Venus and Jupiter won't put on a show nearly as good as this until March 1st of 2023. Venus will be getting higher above the sun each night and Jupiter will drop lower each night for the rest of March. But Jupiter and Venus aren't the only bright planet game in town next week. Turn and look east in the early evening and the bright red orange light of Mars will stare you in the face. Mars is as big and bright as it will get for this year, so this is prime Mars watching time. Here are a few Mars images from Dr. Don Parker. These are from January because that's when we record the show, but there will be many more Mars images from Dr. Parker on our stargazersonline.org website. Check them out. Now let's ask you a star question. What is the bright star we see in the night sky the most often? Now, you know that the sky is always slowly changing, and we don't always see the same stars. So the bright star we see most often from the northern hemisphere is the bright star closest to the north star. Let's show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up facing north any evening next week just after it gets dark. And to find the star which we see most often, simply locate the Big Dipper right in front of you. Then shoot an imaginary arrow through the two stars that mark the rim of the cup in the direction opposite the handle, and you'll land smack dab on the bright golden yellow giant star Capella, which is the brightest star of the constellation Auriga the Charioteer. Now Capella is not the eye or shoulder of Auriga, or even a star in his chariot. Strangely enough, Capella means the goat star. You see, Auriga was depicted not only as a charioteer, but also as a goat herder. In fact, if you imagine that Capella is a nanny goat, you can see her three kid goats very close by. Now, although Capella looks like a single bright golden yellow star to both the naked eye and through a telescope, it's not. You see, years ago in 1899, an instrument called the spectroscope revealed that Capella is two giant stars, each of them several times larger than our sun, but separated by only 70 million miles. That's 23 million miles closer than our Earth is to our Sun. And things got even stranger a few years later when two more stars were discovered to be part of this Capella system. Two tiny red dwarf stars a trillion miles away from Capella. So, shoot an arrow through the rim stars of the Big Dipper's Cup, and you'll land right on the strange and marvelous quadruple star system, which we see as a single star, golden yellow Capella, the goat star. Keep looking, looking up. up.